Hi, I'm Ruben Saltzman with Structure Tech Home Inspections. Today's topic is double tap circuit breakers. Two wires connected to one circuit breaker when it's not supposed to be. And today I'm gonna to cover what the condition is, why it matters, and what to do about it. So a double tap circuit breaker is probably one of the most common things that home inspectors find inside of electrical panels, and it's usually not that big of a deal. At some point along the line, everybody kind of signed off on this as a big deal and something really important to fix. And while it, it should be corrected, I don't put this into the big deal category. This is a pretty minor issue, and the fix is almost always quick and easy for an electrician. So what's the whole concern here? Well, a double tap circuit breaker is two wires connected to one breaker that's designed for one wire. That's, that's the important distinction here. There are breakers out there. There are breakers made by Square D and there's breakers by Cutler Hammer that are designed to have two wires connected. They will allow two different wires at one breaker. Not all Square D breakers, not all Cutler Hammer breakers, but some of them. If you have one of those, there's no defect. It's perfectly fine to have two wires connected to one breaker. If it's any other breaker, the manufacturer has listed it to hold one wire securely in place. When you get two wires, you may end up with a loose physical connection and that could lead to a fire. I won't get into all the specifics, but loose electrical connections can lead to fires. That's the entire concern with a double tap circuit breaker. Now, you may have another defect going on at the same place at the same time. You may also have an overloaded circuit. Now, let's say you've got a double tap circuit breaker and one of those wires goes to an outlet right over here and another goes to an outlet right over here. We don't have an overloaded circuit. You can have a bunch of outlets in the same room all wired off the same circuit. That's not a problem. When it is a problem, when you have an overloaded circuit, is where one of those wires goes to, say, the bathroom circuits and another goes to the kitchen countertop receptacles. That would be an overloaded circuit. So we'd have a couple of things going on at the same time. You'd have a double tap circuit breaker and an overloaded circuit. And let me qualify this video. This is not a complete electrical how-to video. I'm going to be working on a dead panel here. It's... I'm not going to show you how to remove the panel cover safely, how to turn off power, how to properly torque the screws at the circuit breakers. We're not doing any of that stuff today. I'm just giving you an overview of the basic steps that it takes to correct this. The first option I'm going to cover is a simple pigtail repair. This is a matter of taking the two wires out of that double tap breaker, getting a third wire, connecting them together, and running that third wire into the breaker. As long as you don't have an overloaded breaker, this will work every time. I'll start by disconnecting the wires. I'll get another short length of wire that looks like this and I'll connect all three wire ends together. Now I could just use a wire nut and twist these together. Best practice is to use a pliers and to pre-twist them a little bit here. Now I'm going to take a wire nut and twist that onto all three wires. Now we have a good, proper physical connection. And all I need to do now is take these, the last wire, stick it into the circuit breaker, get a screwdriver, tighten it down, and we have now corrected our double tap circuit breaker. This is a pigtail repair, and this is legitimate. Now if you do have an overloaded breaker, you need to add on another breaker into the panel. If there's room, it's real simple to do that. There's extra spots in the panel, could pop another breaker into here and then we could move one of these wires up to the other breaker. Just like that. Now we no longer have a double tap circuit breaker. If you don't have extra room to add another breaker, another option is to add a tandem breaker provided the panel manufacturer allows this. This is what a tandem breaker looks like. It's where you've got two throws in a single breaker. Here's a closer look at the panel board diagram. This manufacturer allows tandem breakers in every single space. So this is a perfectly acceptable repair. And then of course one would tighten the screws down. 
the worst case scenario with double tap circuit breakers is that you've got a whole bunch of double tap circuit breakers. These circuits are overloaded. They need to be split off. The panel is completely filled to capacity and the panel manufacturer doesn't allow tandem breakers. If you've got all those things going on at the same time, then it's not going to be a quick and easy fix. The fix there would be to add on a sub panel so that some of those circuits so that some of those circuits can be moved over and they each get their own circuit that way. And that wraps it up. That, that is my whole take on double tap circuit breakers. And just one more word of caution, don't do any of this type of work if you're not qualified. Thanks for watching.